guys, hope you're okay. I'm going to do my May favourites today. Um, I'm firstly going to apologise for the lighting, but it has gone 8 o'clock and I just really fancied filming it, so um, yeah, that's why I'm doing it now. And I've been at work all day, so I couldn't film it any earlier, basically. Now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 things to show you. Um, I hope you like where I'm sort of sat today as well. Just move my camera. Yeah, um, because obviously because I'm filming so late, the lighting is not brilliant. I'm right next to the window, um, but it's quite handy because I've put all the things, my favourites, in front of me on the radiator. So I'm waffling. I'll get on. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is not in any of my hauls or anything like that but it's a firm favourite of mine and I just thought I'd like to show you because you might be interested and it's the Charles Worthington Hair Healer Leave-In Conditioner which looks like this um, yeah it's just one of my favourites um, basically because it leaves my hair feeling really like smooth and silky afterwards and um, I feel that my hair is quite damaged from where I used to like straighten it loads. Um, I'm trying to grow my hair at the moment as well, which I've been doing for about the past, I don't know, a few years or so. Um, and I just feel this sort of helps to keep it conditioned, keeps the ends nice and they don't dry out as quickly. And it smells really nice. And yeah, um, I've bought this before and the bottle lasts a hell, hell of a long time. Um, and it's just a really good product basically so I just thought I would share that with you. So the next product I have to show you was in my March haul and I have used so much of this um, the bottles looking a bit rank now as well because I have used it so much um, and it's the Collection 2000 Colour Match Foundation um, it's SPF 20 and I use the shade Ivory and just looks like this the lighting's getting really bad i may have to like grab a lamp or something hold on okay so i'm not sure the lamps actually made any difference but we'll just crack on anyway um as i was saying this is in spf 20 and i absolutely love it it's like not too cakey and just adapts really well to your skin um great for just every day or if you want to wear it for the night you can sort of build on it and it's so cheap as well, it's Collection 2000 which I think is great value for money um, and I will definitely um, repurchase this and it's really good for my skin tone and yeah I just really like it and I don't really know what else to say about it, I just think it's a good foundation cheap value for money and does the job. The next item I have to show you was in my body shop favourite products although I must apologise for that video because I look a bit woo and I wasn't having a great day and really I should refilm it so perhaps I will um, let me know what you think anyway um, yeah it's the body shop eye shimmer uh, number six and because the lighting is rubbish it's not going to come out very well but it's this um, pearlescent sort of very light sheer lavender colour which is really great for spring and summer. I tend to wear this on my main area of my eyelids and then just put like a darker purple just around here and up here um, without eyeliner just to make it look quite fresh and nice. I am thinking of doing a sort of spring makeup tutorial although I'm not sure as I've never done a makeup tutorial and I don't know how it will come out but we'll see. The next item I have to show you my mum gave me recently and I'm so glad she did because I absolutely love this colour. It's the Speed Dry Nail Colour number 7 and looks like this and the colour is Fuchsia Days and looks like this. Um, to be honest I'm not sure if this is stocked at the moment in stores, I don't know how long my mum has had this um, but she got like a similar one recently so maybe that is the newer version, I don't know and yeah so she gave this one to me because she has a really bad habit of like thinking oh that's a nice colour, buying it and then realising she's already got it 
So yeah, it's a really great colour. I've worn it in quite a few of my recent videos, um, so you may have noticed it in that, perhaps not. And it's just a great sort of spring summer colour, sort of like a corally colour. And it's just really pretty. I've actually been complimented on it as well um, by a couple of people. So yeah, it's a really nice colour. Um, it glides on really well. You could get away with just one coat as well and it would look nice because um, I find with some nail colours you have to have put at least two coats on for it to be sort of um, like a full even colour if that makes sense. So yeah, I really like it. And the next item I have to show you is shown in another recent video of mine which is my Avon haul. Um, I hadn't used this product until after the video so I couldn't really sort of comment on what it's like and it's the Ooh, what is it again? Uh, the Avon Naturals Vanilla Moisturising Body Scrub. Looks like this, you get quite a lot, and I think I said it was £1.50, which is just mad. It was in the sale sort of brochure bit that you get in the catalogue, and oh my god, it smells so nice. It's like, I, I, it reminds me anyway of vanilla custard, so I, I had it in the shower, just like, oh, this smells so good. And now I'm really hungry for vanilla custard, which doesn't help as I'm on a diet, but hey ho. Um, yeah, it did say like moisturising on the front and I was a little bit dubious because I've had some like body scrubs before and they've been like moisturising and stuff, but what's happened? Sorry, I have a hair in my eye. Anyway, um, yeah. What's happened before is they've had this like moisturising sort of stuff in it and it leaves like this weird layer of like, it's a bit not gooey, it's like, I don't know, it kind of just leaves this like layer on anyway and then like if you go to like shave your legs afterwards you kind of, it kind of comes off in your razor which is gross. I don't know why I'm telling you this. Um, and also like if you've then gone to use like body wash with like a shower scrunchie it kind of like doesn't let the other products froth up if that makes any sense so I was a little bit dubious but this doesn't do that um, I don't know if anyone else has had that problem with other body scrubs but it's made me a little bit wary um, so yeah anyway getting back to the point this is really nice value for money smells gorgeous and I really like it the next item I have to show you was again featured in my March haul and I have not stopped using this since it's the collection, no it's not, it's the natural collection um, autumn sunset lipstick and looks like this um, as you can see I've used quite a lot in the last couple of months and I will definitely be repurchasing this um, I did buy another one which is just like a very sheer lipstick but kind of makes my lips look a bit washed out whereas this one's got like a sort of dark pink kind of colour to it and it just looks really nice. I'm actually wearing it now, in fact I think I've worn it in basically all of my videos bar um, the one where I have red lipstick on obviously and yeah it's just really nice, um, stays on quite well I would say and it was I think $1.99 so the next item I have to show you um, isn't a beauty or fashion kind of product but I thought I would share it with you anyway it's also not particularly new I got this for my birthday back in December um, from the fella and I've just been listening to it quite a lot recently and just sort of I think is good for like driving and sort of summer and stuff and it's the Ministry Sound Anthems Alternative 80s. Now if you've seen my tag 15 questions, um, I was talking about, one of the questions was what what era would you live in or something like that, what's your favourite era uh, that you would live in and I said the 80s and really I should have shown this in this video because I love the 80s. Um, it's got some really good classics on here and for anyone else that likes 80s music I would highly recommend this. Now I have one more thing to show you. I didn't want to bore you loads with like, oh I've got this and I've got that. 
um, as some of it isn't exactly new etc and I'm going to be doing a May haul very soon um, this was featured in the last outfit of the night which I uploaded and it's this green suede vintage clutch now I actually purchased this last summer um, and haven't really used it a lot just because I feel it's quite a summery sort of green colour and it is just great for this kind of time of year um, and it just smells so nice because it is like suede and stuff um, and yeah it's as I showed before is just like round and then just sort of clips together here and has like a small compartment at the top and then a large one which actually goes like all the way down so you can fit a lot in it kind of like goes all the way down yeah and I think it looks like beret which I have shown before beret and yeah I just think it's really nice and great even for like day actually if you haven't got a lot of stuff to carry around um, it would just look quite cute with like flats and like a nice summer dress so I plan to use this quite a lot over the next few months for spring and summer so those are my May favourites I hope you like them you may not you may do who knows um, but if you'd like to post a comment or rate or subscribe then feel free and hopefully I will see you in my next video